Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I wrap my turbans. I wear these all the time, all the time, because they are a quick and easy way to protect your hair or not do your hair and still look cute. I'm actually going to show you guys a few of the ones that I wear on a regular basis and kind of talk about like the different textures and cloths that I use because some are better than others. So I have this scarf here. This is one that I've had this for psh, three years or so and I got this from TJ Maxx um, a long time ago but they always have these cloth scarves at TJ Maxx or Marshalls for like $12 or so but this uh, material here is the best to me or a wool like material now I wouldn't go for like fuzzy scarves or anything like that because it's too much texture but you want to find something that has a really cute pattern this is like a dark and maroon color so this is perfect for fall and it basically matches everything now this scarf I got from Zara this one is a little bit thinner um, in feel it's this thin you guys can kind of like see through it and you like wrap it multiple times so what I do with this one because it's already wrapped once like this and then I will wrap it again in half so that it fits my head so I'll be showing you guys how I do this but see how it's half and it gets a thicker illusion on there and then it's pretty long I like to go for the longer ones if I can because this enables me to make the bun or the top area a little bit bigger and fluffier which is what I like I got this at Zara really recently I got it maybe three four weeks ago so it's probably see there still there if you like this design and then I also have this one I got this one from forever 21 and again it's really long it's really sheer so you can double it um, or whatever you want to do and I like to have solids and patterns because you really can never have too many scarves and then you can always double up so you can actually wear these you know around your neck obviously but also on your hair so I'm going to show you guys how I wrap my hair with this one since this one is my favorite one to wear I'll go ahead and show you guys how I do that step by step first thing you're gonna need is a rubber band or a scrunchie of some sort if you are protective styling or if you like want to deep condition while you do this too a lot of times what I'll do also is I will just generously apply a oil of some sort or a cream or something to moisturize my hair if I know that I'm wearing my scarf for a day or two I'll definitely do that so I can just get some added moisture while I'm protecting my hair so I'm gonna take my scrunchie and just put my hair in a far front pineapple basically so just as if like you're gonna sleep on your hair pull it up to the front because basically this bulk is what we're gonna make our bun at in the front with the scarf and so I'm gonna pull that to the front and then I'm going to just make a loose butt. So I'm just wrapping it loosely. And I mean, you can do this tightly. I usually don't. I just keep it pretty loose. And this is like something super quick and easy. So it doesn't have to be perfect. But yeah, so that's basically where our bun is going to be in our scarf. So I'm going to go ahead and actually sleek down my edges here so that it's a little bit more polished whenever I put my scarf on. So I'm just dipping my brush into some Myel Organics edge control or edge gel and it's really good. If you want something with a harder hold though, you should definitely try the Cream of Nature Extra Hold Edge Control. Theirs is by far the best and it's a great price. I think it's like six bucks. So I'm just gonna put some gel on my front and honestly I'm not really doing this too formally. It's just a little bit too sleek down the hair in the front. And then once we put the scarf on, we're going to pull out some baby hairs and sleek our baby hairs down too. So I'm gonna take my scarf. And so it's already, this is how big the scarf is. You guys can see it's pretty big. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in half so that the two edges, it's folded. So now it's a little bit thicker and shorter here, right? Then I'm gonna take this and put it around my head and I'm going to pull it to the front like this. Now I'm gonna make sure that I've got enough to cover my bun up here. If I don't, I can just adjust this here. Right. 
and I've still got enough there. So I'm actually gonna leave my ears in, but I actually take my ears out once we finish the entire look. But I'm gonna cover my bun, stick it in here. Still got my two sides, right? So I'm gonna go in underneath right here. I'm gonna pinch this part. See there, I'm gonna pinch that and just start to twist it underneath. Now I'm not twisting the whole thing. You can, but I find that I get a little bit tighter hold if I twist here first and then start gradually grabbing more of the scarf. So now we're here, right? Right? Then we're gonna twist this. And again, the reason why I love these scarves is because you get so much meat of the scarf. So this is gonna be really big and I don't have to um, tie it super tight or anything or no craziness to really make it look amazing. So here you can really do underneath. You can go above like this if you wanted to, or you can take it down here and put it underneath like that. I think I like the above actually. We're gonna go like this. Keep it up here. So this makes it really tall and kind of big. And that's what I like. I like when it's like super tall. So you can leave it like this, pull your, these back like that and if you've got the little frays here I just tuck them wherever I feel that they can get tucked and then I'm gonna pull this back a little bit I'm gonna brush my baby hairs out and you can always add um, pull out more baby hair whatever you like or no baby hair it's really up to you just brush it out but obviously you guys can see this is like super Duper easy. I'm using a spoolie actually um, to do my baby hairs. I find I like this or a toothbrush. Um, my bear, baby hairs are pretty unruly, so I have to be really careful about how much I pull out when I do this. And of course, we cannot forget our big hoop earrings, so I'm gonna add in my hoops. And this is it. This is how I do my turbans. I rock these all the time. Now, of course, if you don't like it this big, you can always um, pull it down by wrapping it tighter whenever you're wrapping it around or getting a thinner scarf. Like I said, the thicker the scarf, the more kind of poof you're gonna get really with how big you can get your turban. But yeah, I love this. This is like a go-to for me because it's like a fully put together look without even doing my hair. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.